humanitarian situation, quote, will only deteriorate exponentially and that crucial life-saving supplies, including fuel, food and water, must be allowed into Gaza. So the U.N. is saying you must do this. You are saying you're not going to do this. Um, how do you No, we're not. We're not saying that. He's saying do it. Yeah, he's saying doing it immediately. Is, what I'm saying is what, you, what you're doing. No, no. He's saying doing it, doing, okay. doing it immediately. I, yeah, I got you. I'll tell you exactly what we're saying. I'm saying we will do everything for the Gazan people. Once and now, we demand immediate surrender, unconditional surrender of Hamas. If Hamas people come out with their hands up and clear their weapons, believe me, everything will be restored to Gaza. It is Hamas in Hamas hands. That, okay, if now I understand. That, thank you for clarifying that, sir. I, I think I think I think we're actually on the same page here. You're saying that once Hamas leaves, you'll you'll grant the the, the Gazan people food, shelter, fuel, electricity, hospitals, schooling. And, in, and if they don't, and, and if Hamas doesn't leave, then they'll continue to starve and die in hospitals. You are defining for the international community right now collective punishment. You're saying until, until Hamas acts differently, the two million people in Gaza are going to be treated this way. And once Hamas acts differently, these two million people in Gaza will be treated better. That is exactly what collective punishment is. You're holding them accountable for the actions of others. That is the definition, the textbook definition of, of, of collective punishment, sir. Now, you may, you, you may accept that that's what you want to do, but this is absolutely a contravention of international law. Well, I'll tell you exactly. No, had we had no, if we had we pushed them to the wall, we're not pushing them to the wall. We want to open a humanitarian corridor so they can leave. But if Hamas, so that who can Hamas leave? So that who can leave? Citizens. You're saying civilians can leave, but only through the Rafah border, correct? At this point, yes. So they can't because come. Where else? Your country. <laughs> they can come into Israel. I'm telling you one more thing I want to say. Uh, no, no, but, but I, want you to, I want you to address that point. Don't just smile, sir, respectfully. You're saying they, they, you're, not, you're making a corridor. I, they, can go to, they can go to Egypt. You're bombing them. You say you want to save them, but you, they can't come in. I, first of all, I'm not smiling. I'm crying in my heart.